Okay, the previous version of the proof was a bit too long, so let's make this one without writing. So we're going to prove that if a family of k vectors is linearly independent, then a subfamily, or here I'm assuming a subfamily with three elements, but it doesn't matter, they are all linearly independent. So to prove that, there are many ways to prove that a, a collection of vectors is linearly independent. Um, there are some theorems, there are some conditions that you can check. We're going to check directly the definition. So what's the definition? We take some linear combination of these vectors, assume this linear combination gives zero, and we have to show that this is the trivial linear combination. So suppose this combination is zero for some numbers, a1, a2, and a3. So some here is a logical quantifier. It means there exists a alpha1, alpha2, alpha3 for which this combination is zero. And the proof will be the following. We define alpha4, alpha5, up to alpha k, all these numbers to be zero. And then we look what this linear combination here of k vectors is. Well, this linear combination can be split into two parts. The first part has alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 on it. The other part will have alpha 4, alpha 5, up to alpha k, each one multiplied by x, the respective x. And uh, these, they give 0, because the first part gives 0, and the second part also gives 0. But now, we note that these k vectors, they are linearly independent, and this is a linear combination giving the zero vector as the result. Therefore, all these alphas from 1 to k, they have to be all zero. In particular, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 must be zero, and this is what we were trying to prove. 